What makes the interviewing process so difficult is the question for tonight. And to me, it's really very easy, or well, at least easy to answer that. And that is because the skills needed to find a job are different than the skills needed to do a job. Now, that seems obvious, but let's follow through a step further. You can talk about what you've done in glowing detail. However, finding a job is different, and there's different sequencing to interview questions. So, yeah, you know that they're going to ask you to tell me about yourself, but you've never practiced an answer to it. And once you've heard your answer, you probably groan because you think it's awful. So, why don't you practice? Because you act foolishly. You get lazy. You think if you just regurgitate a bunch of things, that's enough to get hired, when obviously it isn't. So, what makes it difficult is lack of preparedness. Because you know, for any skill, the more you prepare, the more effective you are. I'm going to repeat that. The more you prepare, the more you practice, the more effective you are. If you practice interviewing, working with someone uh, who you partner up with, where you give them a series of questions to ask you, or you work with a coach and give them a series of questions to ask you, your interviewing is going to improve a lot, especially if the coach is good. I was uh, working with someone today, as a matter of fact, who has an interview that he's really excited about tomorrow. And when, we, when I coached him last week, I spoke that maybe we could do a practice interview tonight. And his answers were okay at best, but there was no excitement to them. They were, weren't crisp. They were kind of sloppy, as a matter of fact, at times. And what we need to do is listen to the words come out of our mouth. So you record your answers and listen to them. And it's not about your voice tone. It's about how you tell the story that starts making a difference. Uh, for this person, okay at best, but people get hired for two reasons. One is that they're competent, and the second one is because someone likes them and is willing to give them a chance. So likability was missing here just like it is with most people I interview. They just don't let their personality show enough for people to engage with them. And when you think about it, for job hunters, there are a lot of talented people who do what you do. For college graduates, and this is going to maybe be more obvious for the older folks, but let me play it for both of you. There are a lot of people with good grades who've gotten great internships. That's been the model for uh, for college grads uh, since for the last five, six years. So why should they pick you? The answer is ultimately your personality and how it fits into their organization and whether or not they like you or not. And if you go for serious professional mode, well, likability disappears from the equation. For everyone, recent grad, adult worker, you have to let your personality come through. Otherwise, you're just another interview clone who's out there trying to you know, demonstrate competence and struggling to do so. Hope you found this helpful. Have a great day.